Hey, hey guys, and welcome to another video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. In this one, I'm gonna be talking why the fact we're not getting a battle box this Christmas is a good thing for us Orc players. Oh, seriously? So Warhammer 40,000 battle boxes incoming. This is one of the latest articles on the Warhammer community site. And like GW do every Christmas, we've got battle boxes coming. These are big boxes with an army in a box, basically, for different factions. And they always do a few different factions every year. Uh, although Space Marines always get a box, um, the rest of us factions have to battle it out and see if we're the lucky ones chosen that year. And this year, there's nothing for Orcs, uh, which is initially going to seem very disappointing to most of us out there. We have one for Space Marines, we have one for Necrons, it's a good year to be a Necron player, it really is. Uh, we have one for Imperial Guard, uh, Chaos Space Marines, Tau, and Tyranids. And poor old Tyranids, they don't get a whole lot of loving from GW, but this Christmas they are getting a big old battle box, which looks like quite a cool one, actually. Uh, I'll scroll through so we see what they get. The Space Marines get this stuff. Um, I still kind of want one of these to loot. I kind of want... I, to be honest, both of those vehicles are prime for a looting. Uh, we've got the Necron one, which comes with warriors and immortals and uh, Lich Guard, Praetorian fellas and uh, Walker things, you know, cool, cool tin head stuff. Got the Imperial Guard one looks cool. I like the look of that Imperial Guard one. That's a nice looking army, that is. Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite refreshing to see it not have a Liman Russ in there, like it's always the case. you got this thing, the I think it's the Hydra, is it? Something like that. Sentinels. Sentinels are always cool. Love Sentinels. Chimera, some heavy weapons, and lots of infantry to get chewed up in the Imperial War Machine. Uh, we've got a Chaos one, which looks pretty tasty, actually. I've got to say, I like this Chaos Lord. He is pretty badass looking with his big old hammer and that. And uh, uh, the Maul of Fiend, but that's not the Maul of Fiend. That's the shooting variant of it which I think out of the box you can make both, but uh, uh, the Tau one looks pretty good. You get a whole lot of uh, miniatures in there. Uh, loads of drones, fire warriors, crisis battle suits, uh, broadside ones, piranhas. You don't see them on the battlefield much, but they're cool little vehicles. Also good for a looting, but I wouldn't recommend buying this box just to loot that. That would be insane. Um, Tyranid one is sort of looks pretty well rounded. You've got gene stealers, hive tyrant, tyrant guard, that thing, uh, can't remember what it's called, and gargoyles, and then a Blood Angel one, which I think any Space Marine player could get and uh, make into, you know, whatever chapter they've got, I don't think there's anything there that particularly makes this a Blood Angels exclusive, I imagine it comes with some sort of upgrade sprues, it looks like you've got like Blood Angel shield things you put on there and shoulder pads, there's probably just an upgrade sprue in there. Uh, but yeah, a uh, cool one for Space Wing players. So Space Wing players get two battle boxes this year. And then uh, Necrons, Imperial Guard, Chaos and Tau get the rest. Um, oh, and Nids, of course. Uh, but yeah, no sign of an Orc battle box. Which, uh, yeah, initially, on the surface, seems like a real shame. Because we love battle boxes. These are a great way to save money. Uh, Christmas comes round, you've got those relatives and stuff and things that say, what do you want for Christmas? And you can say, oh, I'd like this uh, big, uh, I'd like the new Orc Battle Box, please, Grandmother. Um, to which she forks out her hard-earned pension money on buying you overpriced plastic. And uh, much happiness ensues. Uh, but that's not going to be happening this year, because we don't, we're not getting one. Uh, we also don't yet have... Uh, the new starter set, the new combat patrol sets that have been coming out. 
Uh, we have still got our existing start collecting set, which has been around for a long time now. I'm sure virtually all of us have at least one of those in our collection, and probably more because it's the kind of you can keep rebuying them. It, it's, it's a good set. Comes with the Death Dread, uh, the Knobs, the Boys, the Pain Boy. Uh, it, it's it's a it's a good set of a lot of good parts and things in it. it, it yeah, it's a, it's it's a it's a good core set to just keep bulking out your Orc army with. But these sets are great because these are bigger um, and they usually last year, I think they range from like around, around about the £110 markish. Uh, prices have gone up this year though, so we are likely to see um, prices of these. I'm sort of predicting around the 120 125 mark, but uh, we'll see on that. Um, at the time of recording, to my knowledge, they haven't yet announced prices on these and they might vary slightly. But you're getting between, well, the tower one's got what? Let's have a look. 41 miniatures in that set. Uh, that's, uh, you know, in terms of the volume of plastic you're getting, that's probably the best one. Uh, the Tyranid one comes with 31 miniatures. So these are big old sets that give you literally an army in a box and massively will increase. You know, if whether you want to start a faction or you want to increase the size of your existing faction, these, these are great. And you save a fortune on buying this stuff separately. Uh, but, yeah, no orc box, sad times, uh, but why is this a good thing? Well, I say this is a good thing because if they were to release, if they were to have announced an orc box, what that would indicate to me is that we would be very unlikely to see anything new from Orcs in the uh, early part of 2021. And I've got a strong inkling that we are in for some new stuff soon. I, I really do think we are. Because uh, let's not forget um, this. 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 And this so there, there you go we, this stuff has been revealed quite a while ago and uh, we still had no new information on what this stuff is um, and uh, you know th some of those those rumor mill pictures in particular are um, you know not well, not 100% confirmed as Orc, but uh, oh, I, I, I think they are. Um, but obviously, the other two pictures that were revealed in the uh, the, the big sort of sneak preview for the you know the the, the upcoming stuff, uh, the colour pictures are clearly Orc and uh, look quite tasty. They really do. I like the look of that slugger and stuff on the the the, the, uh, the Orc is holding on that picture. Uh, but it's all we've had. Um, so we, we know we've got new stuff coming. Uh, we just don't know how much, what it is, and when it's going to come out. We know we've got a new codex coming for 9th edition. And alongside that, we are very likely to get one of those new combat patrol starter boxes, uh, which every faction seems to be getting alongside their codex. So I think if we had had an orc one of these it would indicate that it's going to be quite a while before we get any new stuff because uh, they're not going to release a big box of existing stuff if they're just about to launch some new stuff and when they launch the new stuff that's likely to be bundled into some kind of start collecting set and uh yeah then they're, they're not going to waste their time and stuff and resources sort of packaging up a thing that is going to be obsolete very quickly so I think this bodes well for us. I think within the first half, at least, maybe even the first quarter of 2021, and this is just what I'm thinking, you know, I've got no information on this. This is literally me just using a educated guess, if you will, uh, and you know, making an attempt at predicting things, which can be dangerous on YouTube because uh, uh, it's on camera. And if I'm wrong, you mofos are sure as hell going to let me know. Um, but yeah, I think within the first quarter, at least first half of 2021, I think we're getting our new Orc Codex. I think alongside that Orc Codex, we're going to be getting some new releases. I think more than one at least. I think we're going to get a few new kits. And uh, we're going to find out what those rumour engine pictures are. We're going to find out what those awesome looking colour pictures are. 
and uh, I think it, a lot of this new stuff um, will be bundled in to a combat patrol start set and so I think uh, yet yeah, you can't have a big old battle box for Christmas at least an orc one but what I would recommend is that you ask for some cold hard cash for Christmas instead so they haven't got the battle box so just give me the money instead put that in your piggy bank hold on to it because I think in the early part of 2021 there's going to be some new orky goodness for us all to spend our cash on and uh, hopefully that will be uh, good good bring good times indeed uh, anyway guys I just want to share my thoughts on that with you because I've seen some of the comments and things uh, on the tinternet uh, people you know being quite disappointed that there is no orc battle box but do not get disheartened guys I think in the long run this is a good thing for us and uh, let's face it if they did a battle box now it would just be packed of full of loads of stuff we've already got multiples of most likely so I think uh, new year new stuff new toys for us to spend our money on it's going to be a good 2021 i hope can't can't be worse than 2020 can it uh, but anyway guys please share your thoughts in the comment section below as always hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and i will see you on the next one guys this is six plus stevo signing out